Well, now that we've installed Java, been able to compile a program, it's helpful to have extra tools. There's a big variety of different tool sets that help you manage Java projects and complex hierarchies of libraries. And the ones that we're going to use in this course most heavily are all by the Apache Foundation. So if you were to, just out of curiosity, go to apache.org, here you find yourself at the Apache Software Foundation. It says that it's made up of nearly 150 top-level projects. And you can see there's a big list of things to get. And we actually do want um, three things from there. And the first thing that I want to grab here is something called Ant. So Ant is actually, in a sense, getting obsoleted. Um, it says it migrates to Git, so we actually may not get it here. And maybe the easiest thing to do um, is to click on this link, and I'm going to open this in a new tab. And the binary distributions for Apache Ant, I think that will be fine. What we really want is a jar, which is an archive. So we're going to get the archive, let's say, we can, now that we have um, the SIGWIN, we could deal with any of these because we could actually use the Linux kind of version. So let me click on the tar.bz2. Ah, and it says tar files may require GNU to extract. And here it is downloaded. OK, so there is Apache Ant um, almost downloaded. It might be waiting for a little while, but that was all that we needed there. So back to here, I noticed that there's another thing here called um, IVDE. I don't know what I need, but we do need something called Apache Ivy. Um, lots of software seems to depend on that as well. So both Ant and Ivy are tools for managing projects, describing them, describing dependencies, and so on. Um, here, I'll open this link. There are the downloads. I'll grab the binary as bin.tar.gz. We also can get something with dependencies. So that might include more information. Um, I'm not sure which two would be best to get here. I'll just get this one, and if it's wrong, um, we'll find out later. I don't know why Facebook entered the picture, but you can see that I get an Apache Ivy here as well. So if I look at my downloads, the Apache Ant seems to be there. Let's see if I can drag that to the desktop. There it is. It's, it's of a type that Windows doesn't know about. Same for Ivy. So I have those two things. And is that all? No, I think there was one other that I wanted to try and get from Apache. So I have ant and something called ivy. Not even listed here, but it is part of ant, I suppose. But what is being replaced by some of the newer projects use something which is a, an improvement on this whole idea, something called maven. And I think I want that as well. And Maven is, has a bunch of, of things in it. Get Maven, download. It might have a Windows installer. We have 
multiple versions. I guess this one is fine. Um, I guess I'll try this. I don't know which exactly is the best to get. Since these are open source, I can just download the source code and compile it, but I'd rather use the provided binary. And it's waiting now to find a mirror. Once it locates a mirror, I should be able to get a download quick. By the way, sometimes a better idea is um, just go to a search engine and say download Maven for Windows. Windows 732 bit. And it will take you to the link that we just were using. But sometimes that's a faster way of navigating things. And it's still waiting for the mirrors. And that may be because I didn't specify a mirror. So I can actually choose um, different places. Well, it already started here. Seems to be pretty much finished. Let's wait for that to turn green. didn't turn green, but it did turn blank. Okay, so those are the three things I needed. Ant, Ivy, and Maven. And whether I got all the dependencies, we're going to find out a little later. So now I have to move them to the right place inside of Sigwin, which is going to be similar to what we did before. So I'm going to, if I can remember how to do this, this time I'll, I'll try moving them. I say, sig drive C, um, users. Because of my name has a blank in it, the way I'm registered, I need an escape, which is why I've been typing this backslash here under that standard Unix uh, mechanism. Desktop Apache, everything Apache here. And there they are. So they're, they're gone from the desktop, and now I can see them locally here. And now I need to unpack them and try them. So. First, I'll try Apache Ant. Just tar extract from file Apache Ant. That'd be easy too. Thinking, thinking. And I can see, but you can't, that the disk light is is uh, making a lot of activity. Okay, after we have uh, ant, we'll need to do the same thing with IV and Maven as well. Okay, so what do I have here? Uh, there's a new directory called Apache Ant. Let's see what's in that. Apache Ant. Uh, it has a binary. Ant194 bin. And 
there they are. And they, they're even in the right um, shape from what I expected. There are bat files and command files and so forth. So I could try something like um, uh, Apache ant bin ant. And it can't find a tools.jar. Um, so it could be that I haven't got this all set up in the right way. Um, we might have to look online for how to do this and install it correctly. But at least it, it works okay. That it's as a command, so it seems to be running. Didn't quite succeed to do what we wanted, but that's okay. And there was another thing in there, an install, and that might be a nice thing to look at. How about uh, we more Apache Ant 194 install. So it says to look online for installation instructions. Okay. So that's, we'll do the same thing here for Maven and so forth if we wanted to. They can be installed as well.